Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, today I am celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee by creating a makeup look inspired by the national British flag, the Union Jack. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then all you have to do is keep on watching. So today I wanted to create something a little bit more intricate because I've been basic, basic, basic for a long, long time, I feel like at least. And because of the colours that I'm going to be using today, I picked up a random colourful palette. Today is going to be the W7 Mardi Gras Express Yourself palette. This is a dupe of the Be Perfect Carnival palette number something um i can't remember and i need like a, a nice blue sort of inspired by the union jack and a red um i also have a white as well i'm of course going to start off by priming my lids with the anastasia eye primer and i'm going to prime the top half of my lid because i'm doing a cut crease today as I was priming my lids, I realised I want to glue my brows into place. I want to put sort of brow gel through them. And my brow gel lately has been the Schwarzkopf. Got to be a glued, water resistant spiking glue. Uh, I just use like a one time use that I reuse spoolie. I take a little bit of this gel, this glue in here just the tiny little bit and after it in my nose <laughs> i brush this through my brows lately i've been liking my brows to be like natural but fluffy um and i've been really enjoying this product as I'm doing my eyes, the brow gel will dry and look good. Let's come back to the eyes. I'm going to take the 203 from Real Techniques and I'm starting off with my first shade and it is the blue. So in the Carnival, no. So in the um, Mardi Gras W7 palette, it is called Sapphire. Beautiful, beautiful blue. And I'm stamping this just above my crease in the middle of my lid and then I'm gonna go down following the natural curve of my uh, eye and then I'm going to go up again it's a very subtle sort of wave and then in um, when I come in towards the inner corner of my eye I'm going to go a little bit more down so somewhat into my crease I personally like that you just have to play with makeup to figure out the shape of makeup that suits your eye I've been playing with makeup for years almost as long as uh, the Queen has been alive that's totally a lie but <laughs> Um, but yeah, it just, it takes time, excuse me. So now I have the blue, I'm going to use this brush to begin to blend the edges. So this is the quite boring part, take your time with it. Honestly, if you are trying to get better at makeup, my biggest and best recommendation is to sit with a makeup palette, a show that you have watched 375 times, or you could play a YouTube video, or just, you know, just play something in the background and do your makeup. That's what I have been doing for years and years and years before I started my YouTube channel. Um, and then even after starting my YouTube channel, I got better because I was doing it regularly. So I'm taking a smaller blender, a clean brush, and I'm going to sort of go at the very edge of where my blue is to really, really blend this in. 
time to cut the crease you've seen me cut my crease thousands of times but if you haven't just in case I take a micellar water and I dip my brush in it I have a cotton round to be able to sort of dab the excess amount of micellar water so it doesn't go in my eye you want to take it slow you want to look up cut your crease above your actual crease so you can see the eyeshadow that you have on your lid later on um, I actually really like this flat definer brush from Jazzup. It's 212 brush. It's very sharp, very flat, and I actually really, really like this to cut my crease with. I went back and forth whether to do the eyeshadow before my liner or my liner before my eyeshadow, but I think because of the colour of the liner, I'm going to do the liner first. I'm taking my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Drug Lord. I'm taking a liner brush and I'm sort of making a thin line in that cut crease bit. And as I'm thinking about this look, I'm going to change it even more. The next thing I'm going to do is take a red lipstick from Jeffree Star and make a red line. This is Heart Rate and I'm making a slightly thicker line this time. And I'm going to make one more white line before I do the eyeshadow. Before the liner dries fully, I'm going to start wiping it away. I'm going to let the liner portion start sort of randomly. I don't know, I just feel like that in a corner just looks a lot better. I didn't like how crowded it felt it was. Um, okay, let's do the rest of the makeup. Let's do some eyeshadow. So I need to prime my eyes again. And I thought I was going to use red, but I'm not. I'm only going to use sapphire today, I think, as my eyeshadow. So you only need one blue eyeshadow. I'm going to apply this blue on majority of my lid. In fact, because I'm doing that, I'm going to take a flat brush and pack it on. I'm going to stop where sort of my liner stops as well. I want a very bright white in the corner. You can't really tell it's Union Jack. I'm not going for the actual Union Jack there, but it's uh, makeup inspired by Union Jack. And now I need any random white, I mean any will do. If you don't have a white eyeshadow, just try and blend this in uh, with like some powder maybe. I just happen to have the Made by Mitchell Head in the Clouds handy because that's the eyeshadow palette I used somewhat recently. And I'm going to take Walter the White. And this is going in my inner corner. I like that you can tell it's inspired by Union Jack but it's not I'm not recreating the Union Jack on my eye um, I really like that I'm going to do this eye off camera and I shall be right back to show you the rest of my makeup okay the other eye is done and before I move on to my base and finish off my makeup I'm going to finish my eyes because I thought yeah I do need a little bit more red in this look and I placed it on the lower lash line so I'm going to take my primer yet again and prime my bottom lid and as I planned initially I am going to use some reds in this palette. I'm taking the Moretta and the Flambeau um, colours. So the two reds, the very middle one and the bottom one to make a custom shade. And because I want it quite vibrant, I'm going to put a little bit of setting spray on there. I'm placing it in the middle, going thinner towards the inner corner and a little bit more on the outer corner and now i'm going to take sapphire and do the same and put it on the outer corner so it kind of blends in with the bottom lash line and the upper lid it will kind of create like a slight purple color but that's absolutely fine i don't think i've got too much 
fall out but just in case I do I'm going to wipe it a little and it's time to do the base for my foundation today I'm using one of my faves the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation and I have the shade 130 true beige which is slightly too light for me but I can just make it work for my concealer I'm using the revolution conceal and define infinite concealer before I set I'm going to bronze with the Fenty cream bronzer in butter biscuit and I'm setting with the Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass Powder. For my blush, I'm going to take the Mardi Gras palette and I'm going to make like a, a peachy blush by pretty much swiping my big brush like this, blending that into my hand. And whatever's left in the brush, I'm using that too put some blusher on for my brows today I'm using brow waist to fill them in and I'm focusing mainly on the tails of my brows by just drawing a couple of hair like strokes and to make them a little bit more bushy and full not long left now I'm going to put some mascara on and some falsies before I do my lips and as I was waiting for my lash glue to dry, I actually decided to go ahead and put my lipstick on. I settled for Jeffree Star Posh Spice because, you know, Posh Spice is another national treasure. Alright you guys, so here it is. This is my final Union Jack inspired Platinum Jubilee makeup look. I hope you like it as much as I do. It was nice to just make something outside the box inspired by a national flag and I actually really really like how it came out. It's simple yet intricate enough yet like wearable and I don't know I, ju I just really really like it obviously I would love to know what you think of this makeup look so make sure you leave your comments down in the comments below and happy platinum jubilee to the queen I'm going to leave with a quote that was uh, shared with me by lady lieutenant um, yesterday sky is the limit I thought I actually teared up when she said that to me because we hear it all the time but we actually don't uh, follow through with that. We don't give ourselves the chance, we you know, bring ourselves down and we sort of fail before you even try. So sky is the limit, make sure you try this look out. I know it might seem intimidating, but trust me when I say it really isn't. I hope you liked it as much as I do, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. But for now, thank you so much for watching. You are the best, and I hope to see you next time.